all of these West African countries who are talking about intervention. Their economies are in shambles. On their own, they cannot raise the resources to sustain a war for one day. Okay? So they are hoping that they will go there and act as front men for the West. That's all they are hoping. They think that this war will be financed by the West. They think that they are going to get equipment to wage war on Niger from the West. They should listen to what the Russians are saying. Because there's a likelihood that we will turn Niger into the Ukraine, the new Ukraine. And I don't want that to happen in West Africa. I don't want that to happen anywhere in the world. And we better wake up. Now, why is Niger so important? Could happen in Burkina Faso. They didn't invade Burkina Faso after seven days. It happened in Mali. They didn't invade Mali after seven days. Happened in Guinea. They didn't invade Guinea after seven days. Why are they so keen on invading Niger after seven days, the expiration of a seven-day ultimatum? You see, Niger is the base. Hmm? For the, is the largest U.S. drone base in the world. Largest. Now, drone bases, what are they used for? Are they used to manufacture chocolates? <laughs> drone bases are used to prosecute war. And the drone base in Niger is so strategic for U.S. interest. You, you are going to send Corporal Owusu from Ghana. Hmm? We are going to send hmm, Sergeant Mensa Poku from Ghana. We are going to send Lieutenant Niai from Ghana to go and die in Niger so that the U.S. can maintain its drone base, its largest drone base in the world. Are you mad? And you think that Sergeant Mensa Bonsu is going to go and die to maintain the largest U.S. base in the world? Not in Africa, in the world. These leaders, Parsena, these are your leaders. Where did you get them from? <laughs> these are your leaders. These are your Sanquas leaders. Where did you get them from? So that is the strategic value of Niger. It may be the second poorest country in the world, and it shouldn't be. A country with the reserves of gold and uranium, a country which is home to the largest U.S. drone base in the world, should not be poor. If it is poor, then something is wrong. And if something is that wrong, it must be rectified. And I don't care how that situation is rectified. That situation, I don't care whether it is rectified through the barrel of the gun or through the ballot box. It must be rectified. That, for me, is the most important thing. Now, apart from the, the Russian statement, I don't know if you've read the statement from the government of Algeria. Clearly, in opposition to any reckless move to invade Niger. I've already spoken about Benin. Benin is not imposing sanctions. It has already opened its borders. I've already spoken about Liberia. And the president of Liberia, I didn't know he was so sensible. He may be making other mistakes, you know, but on this issue, He's proven to be one of the few sensible leaders in West Africa. He says, you sit down, you allow your colleagues to change constitutions, to extend their terms, and so on, to shoot people in the streets. You don't complain. When you're overthrown, you say you're angry, you're going to intervene. So these are some of the international reactions which are pouring in. Mm -hmm. And I think that our leaders had better wake up and listen.